Well, howdy there, Internet people. Let's bow again. So today, we are going to talk about Biden, three phases, and an announcement about over there. And we will go through the rough sketch of what is known so far about what might be an end to what's happening over there, at least temporarily. Okay, so Biden has come out and said that the Israeli side has agreed to a proposal that is comprehensive and the idea is for an enduring peace. Um, we'll come back to that. What do we know about the proposal so far? It's three phases. The first phase is a six-week ceasefire. This would uh, accompany the release of women and elderly people. Um, it would lead to a full and complete withdrawal from populated areas within Gaza. It would also, according to the rough sketch, provide for 600 trucks a day of aid. Okay, so during this six weeks, they will negotiate the finer points of phase two. If the negotiations last longer than six weeks, the ceasefire holds. Phase two would be a complete and total withdrawal of Israeli forces from Gaza. In exchange, all remaining hostages, everybody, everything. Um, and then that would, in theory, lead to a permanent end to hostilities. Permanent is, a, uh, is being used loosely here. Okay, so after that, they move into phase three, which is reconstruction. Okay, so first part, this is not a full peace plan. This is not a full peace plan. This is an end to the fighting. It is a return to the status quo that existed before the 7th. If this happens, don't get me wrong, it's good. Okay? But it basically guarantees another cycle. They have to go further than this. They have to go further than this. Um, now, my guess is that they will attempt to during the reconstruction phase. And if, if they can get the three points that we've talked about repeatedly on the channel, um, they can get somewhere. This is good, but realistically, this would mean that everything that has occurred is that nothing, that nothing changed and that something similar will happen in the future. This is an enduring peace. It is not a peace plan. So, it is good news that apparently Netanyahu's team, they have agreed to this. They have talked to Biden about it. This is now being presented to the Palestinian side. Um, this, again, it's good in the sense that it would stop what you're seeing. But if they don't follow through and they don't get a real peace plan, we'll see it all again. The obvious question, does this mean that that window closed and that there's no chance? I don't think so. I don't think that that's the case. Um, if I had to guess, the first two components of this rely heavily on the cooperation of organizations that would not be a part of any, of any true peace process. Those organizations will be cut out. Now, that may not necessarily mean all of the individuals in those organizations but those organizations wouldn't be involved. So 
that may be why they're breaking it up this way. But we don't know that. What we know is they have a ceasefire plan that uh, would return to the status quo. Uh, reconstruction, that third phase, there's an opportunity to move forward. But we don't know if it's going to be taken or even actively pursued. So that's where things sit at the moment. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.